Sorry, someone had a question and I had to go solve it out. These, making these videos are actually very difficult. So it's not easy as you think. It takes time. Um, you have to learn how to act in front of the camera. So spare us time whenever there is like an error or we say something wrong. We are speaking to no one and we're just looking straight at the phone right here at this little camera. Okay, so keep on going for example four. We have over here um, negative two X minus seven. I did say it was um, negative one here. I realized this is a seven. So one minus seven is negative six. So now you're trying to get X by itself. Again, there's two inequalities. We need two inequalities for the answer with the word or because the keyword or means two separate ones and means one combined inequality. To solve for X, we're trying to get the X by itself. So negative two is multiplying into X. So the opposite operation is dividing. This cancels out. And remember, whenever you're dividing, when there's a number that's less than zero and you're dividing, sorry, dividing or multiplying, that means your signs change. So if a number is less than zero and you're multiplying or you're dividing to both sides, not adding or subtracting, adding or subtracting are two completely different things. But when you're multiplying or dividing both sides and it's a basically if it's a negative number so a number less than zero is anything negative that means your signs change so now it's not going to be less than it's going to be greater than negative six divided by negative two three so now your two answers here negative two x divided by two and negative six divided by negative two and you have three so now you have your two numbers here so you want to make sure something right here Now, you have your graph here. You have x is less than negative two. We're going to graph it. Oh, I don't have the graph right here. I have to draw it out. So now, I have x is less than negative two. So that means my number, I'm gonna have negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. So x is less than negative two. So first of all, we need our circle at negative two. Is it open or closed? Open, okay. So it's an open circle. Now X is less than negative two. So therefore, you're drawing your arrow where the numbers are less than negative two. That's negative three, negative four, negative 100, negative 1,000. Also, your arrow's facing that way. You're gonna draw it according to your arrow. Next one is or, so that means there's going to be a space, and then X is greater than three. So at three, draw my circle. Is it open or closed? It is open. And now it says x is greater than three. Numbers that are greater than three is four, five, six. So I'm going to draw it in the right direction. So that's that way over there. And you'll have your graph there. Last part is you're going to have a graph and they want you to write an inequality. Here we have two types of inequality. The and inequality, that's one main one. Or the or inequality. That means you have two separate inequalities with the word or. First one. We have a graph, it looks like there's a circle here, there's a circle here. There is a line in between, that means that should tell me that it's my and inequality, meaning it's two combined ones. To graph your and inequalities, you will always have the symbol less than x, less than. You're always going to have the symbol for all ands. Arrows facing the correct way, which is the less than symbol was facing that way. So now you have Less than x, less than. That means x is between two sets of numbers. What we're going to fill in is the first part here and the second part here. Keep in mind, we're not putting lines underneath. Why? If you look at these two circles here, both of those circles are open. When they're open, that means it's simply just a less than symbol. Here, you're gonna put your minimum point here. That means your lowest point. So x is between what number here? It looks like it's here at negative one. So x is between negative one. And X is also between the number right here and it looks like it's five. So X is between the line that we filled in here between negative one and five. And your answer is negative one is less than X, which is less than five. Next one, we have arrows facing that way. So we have a space. That means that's our or inequality. Looking at this here, we have arrow with a negative two. So now we have to see what we're gonna draw. It's easier if you just follow the arrow and See where it's pointing in that's how you draw it but here the arrow is facing this way that means it's facing on numbers that are less than negative two that's why you'll have your less than symbol so you have arrow facing that way i have my less than i have that point which is negative two 
It's a closed interval. So that means line underneath. Or, so that means we have the gap. We have four. X is what? So we're looking at numbers of four and the arrows facing at numbers that are greater than four. So that's five, six. So therefore it's the greater than symbol. Again, closed circle, line underneath, and that's your final product there. So if you have any more questions, make sure to FaceTime me, um, to Facebook message me, anything like that so I can help you. We are here to help you. I hope you guys are having a good time, you know, keeping safe, staying inside the house. You guys need to stay inside the house. I love you guys.